What is the chance that someone can tell you are using a sample from Splice Sounds? Short answer, very little. It is extremely unlikely. And I know there are some producers watching this right now say, whoa, whoa, Mark, that's not true. That's not true. Like, I know if someone's using a sample from Cashmere's pack or um, Beats That Knock or whatever. But here's the thing. I call this the producer's fallacy. We like to think everybody knows what we're doing. We like to think that the average listener is going to understand a good mix down versus a bad mix down. We like to think that the average listener will be like, oh, yeah, their snare was a little too quiet here or there was too much reverb on this one part. And ironically, I just moved into a new place. So I know there's like a lot of reverb here. I'm still kind of working on the logistics of this area in terms of like lighting, sound, pretty much everything. But anyway, you know, overall, we like to think that most people would know that and include with that, we would like to think, oh, no, no, like if I use a sample from Splice, everybody's gonna know whether it was a snare or a vocal sample or a lead or whatever. I promise you, 99.99999% of people are not gonna know, they're not gonna care. Yes, is there the chance that a producer might hear it and be like, wait a minute, this is from this one particular pack. Yeah, it's possible, but honestly, even that, with so many samples being on Splice, is extremely unlikely. I'd say the only potential, I'd say, is a vocal sample. I have heard a couple of vocal samples, like the same vocal melody or vocal sample in general, used in a couple of different songs, and I'm like, oh, that's interesting because I just heard that in a different song. That can happen, but it's still extremely rare. Now, I actually tested this out with my track, Festival Season. What I did is I downloaded an entire pack on Splice and I produced the entire song. Every element of that song was from that pack. I did not add in any of my own stuff, so to speak. All I really did was the engineering. I just kind of arranged it a bit, did the engineering in terms of mixing, mastering, that was it. I released that song years ago. Here's how it sounds. And not once did I ever have someone contact me saying they knew that sound or sample or whatever was from Splice. No, of course, one, maybe they did, maybe there's one person out there and they just didn't really care enough to contact me. Or two, obviously, it's not like the song went viral. It didn't get millions of views, so I will say that. But overall, the chance of someone knowing that you used a uh, sample or sound on Splice, super, super, super rare. And one thing I do wanna say, and I have done a video about this, is just the overall idea of using, let's say, a main synth lead, for example, as opposed to making your own. There is definitely something to be said that, of course, if you use a sample from Splice, even if nobody knows you use that sample, yeah, maybe you might go undetected if that's the right word, right? And you probably will, but there is something about being creative, being original, making your track super, super unique. And that is kind of the double-edged sword, I think, that exists with Splice. It is an amazing resource. You can quickly filter by, what, the, the BPM, the key signature, the genre, even sub-genre of EDM and other genres as well. It's an incredible resource. At the same time, you can make a song using splice samples or even just, I might even say a beat within 30 seconds. I might do a video about that in the future. I have talked about that in a couple of recent videos, but you can make a beat in like 30 seconds. It's fairly almost uh, minuscule in terms of the amount of work you have to do. If like, so you quickly wanna just throw together a beat or whatever, like I did with that song, the whole festival season record, uh, I maybe spend, I don't know, maybe 30 minutes to an hour, just kind of like aligning the samples, mixing, mastering, doing some engineering here and there. And that was it. It was that easy. However, like I said though, in the beginning of this video, at the end of the day, one, I, would, I really wouldn't be worried about using splice sound samples. Use them however you want, whenever you want. The one thing I will say though, I think is like an important asterisk on that element of you not being caught, so to speak, is the fact that of course you do want to be original you do want to make something that really stands out but at the end of the day remember the biggest thing is about making amazing music releasing amazing music and making things that are super unique and original to your own artist and your own brand